Reporting from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. The biggest technology conference of the year, CES 2014, has kicked off. Although the show floor isn't open to everyone just yet, the media got an early peek at many of the new gadgets on display. We've seen several internet-connected devices that keep track of daily activities. Take, for instance, the Sense Mother. She comes with several of these cookies that you can program around the house to do different things. Maybe you'll put one on your kid's backpack to get alerts of when they came home from school. Or maybe you'll put one on a toothbrush to make sure your kid brushed before bed. Mother and four cookie sensors cost about $220 and will ship in the spring. And that's not the only toothbrush tracking gadget. The Colbury electric toothbrush has an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer to record how long you brush your teeth and how well you're brushing. And it sends all that data to a smartphone app via Bluetooth to review the data in your app. It'll cost $100 and is expected to come out in the third quarter of this year. If you're prone to losing your keys, phone, or the remote control, you'll want to check out the sticker tracker. These little sensors communicate with your phone using Bluetooth, and you can set an alarm to go off if it gets too far away from your phone. It also has a two-way alarm to beep the phone or the sensor, so if your phone or remote slipped under the couch cushion, you'll hear it ring. One sensor costs about $30, and it'll go on sale in a few weeks. Health is a big focus at the show. The company behind the Fitbug Orb Tracker will be selling 12-week fitness programs to keep you more motivated when using their sensors, sort of like a digital personal trainer, starting at $20. The Net Atmo June looks like a piece of jewelry, but it's a UV monitor to track your sun exposure, and it costs $100. Also on display is the new Sapphire Wellness Watch that monitors heart rate and steps and has a little bit of style thrown in with a metallic design and scratch-resistant curved screen, but it comes at a steep price of $320 when it goes on sale in April. We'll also be keeping a close watch on gaming technology this week at the show. Check out this gaming exoskeleton called the Prio VR. The suit makers are partnering with the virtual reality headset Oculus Rift to show off a fully immersive gaming experience. A full body version of the suit is expected to cost $400 but just the top half would go for about $270. And that's only skimming the surface of the show. We're just getting started. Be sure to follow our live coverage all week long at CNET.com slash CES. From the CNET stage at the Las Vegas Convention Center, I'm Bridget Carey.